In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to play a blues guitar intro lick. So stay tuned. Hey there, this is James for James Shipway Guitar and welcome to this video lesson. Now today I'm going to show you how to play a classic blues introduction which you can use to really kickstart any blues tune. Let's have a listen to it really slowly before I break it up for you. Now if you've listened to any blues music, you probably would have heard something like this before. There's a lot of different variations on this, but this is one of the most common types, so I thought this was a good one to stick with. Now I'm going to show it to you in the key of G, meaning we would use this as an introduction for a 12 bar blues in the key of G. Later on I'm going to show you how to put it into some other keys as well, but let's break down this example first of all. I'm going to start up at the 7th fret on the G string with my second finger and I'm going to play the top E string at the 7th fret as well. And I'm going to pick the G string, then I'm going to pick the top E string, then I'm going to pick the G string again in a sort of triplet rhythm. So I get this. Now I'm using a plectrum to pick this or pick, but you could use pick and fingers like this. There I'm plucking the top note with my ring finger on my right hand. Or you could use thumb and fingers or whatever sort of approach you prefer. But just to keep it simple now, I'm just going to play with a pick, okay? But experiment and see what works best for you. So we've got this. Now it's pretty simple. All we do is move it down a fret. Do exactly the same thing. So we've got this. Then we're going to move it down one more fret again to the 5th fret and play it again. So we get this so far. Okay, to finish off this section of the introduction, we're going to play a little fragment of a G chord. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to use our first finger. We're going to press down the top two strings at 3rd fret and we're going to play the G string at the 4th fret. I'm going to use my 2nd finger for that. So we've got this little G major chord here and we're just going to strum that like so. So we get this. Okay and one more time. So we're nearly there with the introduction. All that's left is to just play the last little bit. And for this, we're going to use, I'm going to show you how to play a, a D7 chord, but then we're just going to change it a little bit. So grab the A string at the fifth fret with your second finger. Grab the D string at the fourth fret with your first finger. And we're going to grab the G string at the fifth fret with our third finger. So we've just got that little fragment of a, of a larger D7 chord here. And we could play the entire shape like that. That would be with our first finger on the B string as well. But I don't really think there's any need to. And I think this one's slightly easier to grab. Instead of playing at the 5th fret, we're going to start at the 6th fret. And play like a D sharp or an E flat 7 chord. And then we're going to move it down to the 5th fret. And again, it just creates this bit of tension and a bit of movement in it, like this. It just sets up the first chord a little bit more there. Um, so if I play all of that together now, you can hear what it sounds like. And one more time. Now this works great on electric guitar and it also works great on acoustic guitar. Now that D7 chord at the end here, that lasts for beats three and four before you start playing your chords. So you need to think like this. Three, four, one. Okay, so it'd be three, four, one. 
if you don't leave that gap, you're going to start too early. And if you overlap that gap, you're going to start too late. So once you hit that D7 chord, three, four, and then start playing your 12 bar blues. And that way it'll just fit really neatly onto your chord sequence. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to show you how to match that to a 12 bar blues in any key. Now, if we think of our G7 bar chord down at the third fret, we're starting the lick up at the seventh fret. So if we kind of count up four frets from that bar chord, we'll find our starting location. So we're barring at the third, count up four frets from there. One, two, three, four, make our little shape. There's our lick. So sort of count up four frets from your bar chord, but from the fret where you're actually playing the bar. So in this case, at the third fret. And that makes it really easy to match this around some other keys. So let's uh, show you a few examples there. Say we were playing a blues in the key of A. So for that, my A7 bar chord is at the fifth fret. So I'm barring at the fifth fret. So I need to count up four frets from there. One, two, three, four brings me up to the ninth fret. And there's my intro in the key of A. If I wanted to do it in the key of B flat, say, my B flat seven chord is at the sixth fret. I'm barring at the sixth fret. I count up four frets from there. One, two, three, four, tenth fret. Twelve bar blues intro in the key of B flat. So work it out in a few common keys that you uh, usually play in, and then you'll find it'll be really useful to know this lick. Before we finish, here's a little bonus trip you can try to get that kind of sound, a bit like what Jimi Hendrix gets on the intro to Red House, and we're going to vibrato the notes as we move down the neck like this. <laughs> You may not want that but sometimes you might so let me show you how you can do this we're playing our double stop shape here at the seventh fret as before and i'm just kind of wobbling those notes as i go Oops. this almost sounds a little bit like you're playing it with a slide it's in slide guitar and it's just a, a bluesy sound effect that you might find some use for. So that's there if you want to use it. So there you go. That's it for this lesson, really. We've got our 12 bar blues introduction in the key of G and how to move it into any other key. So that should be really useful addition to your blues playing. If you found this video useful, then please subscribe to my channel and check out all my other great blues guitar content on there, like these videos here, for example. Please give the video a like, and if you've got any comments or any requests for videos that you'd like to see me make, leave them below because I check all my comments and I do respond to them. So that's all for now. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you again very soon in another one of my videos. So take care and I'll see you next time.